Well, good afternoon and welcome to the Chartreuse Leprechaun. My name is Mark, your host, and it's time for another episode of Chernobylite. My first episode back after back surgery, so we'll see how this one goes. Anyway, last time we had a full slate of successful missions. We had two food missions become available. We ended up with eight food rations. Everybody ate in full. Oh, it was great. But... You know, not enough mechanical parts as usual. And one hell of a jump scare while we knocked out another Tatiana mission. Oh, speaking of which, where's where's the board? Where's yeah, yeah, yeah. We had some clues and such become available. What all do we get? Four of seven clues, four of four facts, but it's still simulation ready. Adriana status simulation ready? Clues four of seven, what? What is simulation ready? And how, so I guess we're missing those three. All right, so let's go back through this. Pripyat Cafe, important KGB hub, uh, vigilant report. I don't remember what this one was. Tenant a meeting, special surveillance officer splinter and one of our assets from the power plant. Brief BG on how to proceed with his encounters relating to Dorothy and how to gather more information about her possible involvement with imperialist spy operations at the power plant and Duga project. BG's input has always been of great value to our work so far. I can't read that scribble. Confirm something? Something confirm. Huh. Decided that should any circumstances threaten the project. Okay, that was way early. All right, all right, all right. So that was that one, which should lead to the one that's not there, which then leads to this. Somehow to the music box. Okay. Old KG listening gear inside of it. Okay, that leads to this, which is... We're watching us, but the surveillance was intense, higher than usual, but why? So I wrote my own note. Okay. And that leads to, what was this? Melieva, NAR database, full register of the communion phenomena. Oh, yeah. And uh, then we get mysterious agent splinter was, when did we find that out? Intelligence activities in Pripyat. And that leads to another clue we don't have yet. Actually, to two clues we don't have yet, which then leads us to this one. Boris, my old friend and a KGB informant. Yeah, we found out about that. But when did we find out about Splinter? And what's this? Oh, right. This is... Got it. Okay. All right, so facts four of four, clues four of seven, simulation ready. What simulation? Wow, uh, wasn't expecting that, obviously. Um, well, the plan originally for today was to complete the remaining Tatiana mission and see how quickly that goes because they're going a lot faster now. I think I'm getting the hang of this game, the feel for it. And I was going to see about looking into maybe doing the traitor mission over, you know, the one we changed the memory for. I may still try that, depending on how much time there is. We'll just have to watch for it. But uh, let's go see what the radio does to us today. Nothing. Perfect. Um, I don't know of anything we need to do. Yeah, because we did everything we could do over here. So, all right, up the stairs. Let's see if anybody's got anything for us today. You? Sashko? No? You got... Igor. You hey, do. Igor. Got a second? Just talk to my uh, business partner on the radio. You what have a business partner. Yeah, he's knee deep in the shit. NAR is after him. Right. Uh, that's to be expected if you keep taking from them and giving them to yourself, huh? I see. <laughs> that kind of business. Let's not get bogged down with the details. Just check if he's okay, would you? He's hiding somewhere near the Pripyat port. Right. Okay. Uh, oh, the high sport. Yeah, we're not any farther. Oh, wait. Are we? Three of five, zero five, zero. Nope, we're not any. 
What is this simulation thing? I am really bugged by that. I don't know. All right, so that's the remaining Tatiana mission. We can get ammo, medicine, and ammo. So nobody's got a super high chance of a... Oh, Olivier gets that one, I guess. 66, 88. Now we'll let Mikhail have that one. 73, 73, 73, 73. Yeah, we'll let... Uh, We'll let Mikhail have this one, and even split, so we'll just do that and that. And now for the hard part, what are we going to do? The Hermit? Oh right, that's his buddy. Okay, hardware for real men, Sashko. Right, he wants me to get the explosives, which is what got us captured last time. Uh, what do we want to do? You know what? I'm kind of thinking we want to get the Hermit. That sounds like another recruitment mission. Yeah, you know what? Let's do this one. And we'll see what we get out of it. Mikhail claims that everything is just business, but I know you can tell he's holding back the whole truth, can't you? Oh, There's yeah. There's a deep darkness within him, caused by loss and grief. Don't let us suck you in. All right, Pripyat Port, and we want to go 200 meters that way. Wait a minute, there are no, there are no question marks on this map. Oh, uh, but there's green stuff. Oh, I already don't like this map. This was a bad choice. What is that? Flammable, don't need flammable, need... I can't tell where that... All right, so it's not radioactive up through here, but it is green. Oh, wait, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the heck was that? What is that? There's a gas up there. Well, that's fun. It's not radiation, it's gas. Great. Um, all right. Well, I guess we're putting that on. We have the armor. Oh, yeah, we should equip a weapon. <laughs> that would be a good idea. Ay, 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 ay. All right. And the gas mask is over here. All right. Heading up the stairs. Please tell me this is going to work here, right? Yeah. Where the heck are we? Hang on. Map. Where are we going? We're going that way. All right, so. What is all this stuff here? Oh, we're about to use up the filter. Oh, that's not good. Does it automatically change the filter for us? It does. Okay, cool. Well, that's a plus. So... 100 meters that way. All right. I mean, I'm just trying to beeline it. This does not look like a good place to be. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Somebody could see us. Oh, there's two of them over there, too. Great. Great. Uh, let's see if we can sneak over this way, because I don't want... Do not want to deal with two of them. Do not even want to deal with two of them. Uh, oh, and we're in a radiation zone. Fantastic. Um, burning through another filter. Great. Uh, I hope I don't run into that maniac. 
Oh god, there's three of them. And wait a minute, we got a gas mask on and we were still taking radiation? Oh man, that is not cool. All right, but we seem to be out of the zone. Where did that guy go? Can we keep moving? All right, well, we seem to have gotten away from... Is that cloud following us? Oh, that's not cool. 60 meters that way. That cloud is... Oh, and that guy's coming this way, too. Great. You know what? How far down here does he come? He does not come that far. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so... We need to go 60 meters that way. And we can't go through there. Perfect! Why am I not surprised? And we can't go through this way. Great! And that cloud is still there. All right, so where is a way through? There's got to be a way through. Okay, so 48 meters this way. Oh, a bunch of sandbags. I don't like seeing sandbags. Are we going to have to climb all that scaffolding? No, he's not over there. He's... somewhere over here. Maybe. 18 meters. What am I listening to? Oh, Hermit. Yeah, hi, buddy. Who's there? Don't shoot. Relax. No. Mikhail sent me. Are you his business associate? His what? Ah, oh, yes. Sure. Sure thing. I've been shot. I need help. Mikhail, I found your friend. NAR did a number on him. It doesn't look good. Buck will help the man. I need him. He's got connections. Besides, he doesn't deserve to die like that. Like a dog. Uh, give him healing sap. Do I have a first aid kit? Uh, I know I got healing sap. I don't remember if I have one or not. Let me patch you up. Thank you. I don't have anything on me. I had to drop everything when I ran. But I've got some intel you can have. Okay. Mikhail will like this. Okay. Well, what about my lady? I'm looking for someone. Her name is Tatiana Amelieva. She, uh... She plays a violin, right? Sibelius. Yes. My God, that's her favorite composer. You... You know her? I can still hear the music. Beautiful. Uh-huh. Inspired. Sibelius is not for everyone. Interesting. Ago, I started having the dreams. Only the music at first. Then I saw her. She didn't say anything, but I understood. She communicated with me through the music. My wife Katya used to play the violin, you see. That was our connection. What did she communicate? Oh, uh, I wrote it down someplace. But it's ah. still in my hideout. Probably swarming with any. So we're going goons. there. Don't go anywhere. I'm going to check your hideout. Oh, this is very important to me. You'll be fine. I promise. So now we head to the hideout, and I assume come back for him, maybe? I don't know. 112 meters. Well, so much for a simple. 
I should have known better than to expect something simple, right? I mean, I mean, you know. What do we got going on here? Oh, sandbags. Are there any people? Yes, yes, there are. Where? Where? I hear you, but I don't see you. Uh, can I sneak up this way without getting stuck in the trees again? I bet he's over there. But we're going over there, so maybe we're okay? Question mark? Possibly? Whoops! That's... Oh, God. He's, he's like, real. Great. And I don't have a way to get back up there, do I? Can I get back up there? I can. Whoo! Okay. Boy, I was not paying attention. Oh, there's another one right there. Great. Just great. Where's that one? Oh, he moves. That's fantastic. All right, so... Okay, then. Yeah. Yeah, this is good. This is good. All right, so we made it over here. Stay in cover. Stay in cover. Got anybody else over here? No. 70 meters that way. Oh, we're still wearing our gas mask, aren't we? Are we? Yeah, we are. I got three filters left. God, we've got to either make some or find some. Here we go. And nobody saw us. Cool. Uh, 64 meters this way, huh? This is just going to bring us back on top of those guys, isn't it? Well, maybe not. Aren't they over, kind of over there? Can I get through here at all? Maybe? Where am I going? 40 meters that way. I got a feeling I can't get there from here. Can I? Oh, maybe? Nope. That's open ground. And that's more sandbags, and that's more... Oh, God. Well, maybe we're okay. Needed mechanicals off that car, darn it. Oh. Oh, that doesn't look good. That does not look healthy at all. All right. Moving on. We got, yep, there's a door. Oh, there's more of that stuff. Great. Great. What the heck's going to be in there waiting for us? Oh, boy. 35 meters and up. So, somewhere up in that building. Great. Just great. I don't know if I want to... I kind of want to search the place and find stuff. And at the same time, all I want is to find his stuff and get the heck out. Holy cow, look at all that. Grow. Oh. Oh. Where do I need to go? What's the way up? God help us if we have to do a lockpick door to be able to get there. This is just back outside. Well, that. 
and the battery on my flashlight just ran out. Great! Just freaking great! Oh, fantastic. Um, and getting out here did not help us. All right, back into the creepy building. How the heck are we supposed to find the door up? I'm guessing there's a staircase down here somewhere. On the bright side, I haven't seen or heard any portals open up. So I guess that's a good thing. I'm going to have to play with the lighting on this because I can't see what's going on any more than, and you guys are going to have it a lot worse. Uh, there's no staircase. How are we supposed to go? Huh. So, is there an external scaffolding somewhere? That we just completely missed? Is that, oh, mechanical parts. It's at least a little bit. Oh, there's that green cloud again. There's that thing. Just kind of going around the building, looking to see if there's anything. Oh, there it is. There's... Maybe. Now I'm not so sure. Any bad guys over there? No. Oh, this is the hospital place where all the guys were before. Oh. So why can I not find the staircase? So he's up there, 31 meters. Or is his hideout is anyway. How did we get in there before? Where the heck was the staircase? I don't remember now. Is that more mechanicals? Yeah, cool. All right, so that's the other door that we saw coming out. There was a staircase at that end of the building, but there's a Chernobyl light tower in there now. And there was no door to the stairs. Because the staircase was down here. Right? The hell am I listening to? What is that noise? And why do I not like it? Let me count the ways. Uh... Oh, wait. Oh, this continues on down. Oh, and there's the staircase. Through there? Yep, sure enough. All right. I just didn't look at it correctly. All right, so... Still going up. God, I can't see a darn thing. You know this expression, Igor? You are like a foolish child wandering in the dark. You think you're getting closer, but the dark water is rushing in. Soon it will be over your head. You should what? have stayed away. You cannot ruin everything now. I won't allow it. So, want to show me what you're made of? I don't now know. Run. I will hurt you if I have to. I'm giving you a 10 second head start. What? Whoa, whoa, wow, whoa, what? Uh, hang on. What? I 
and see what you're made of. Where the heck? Well, I'm at least getting something on him. Let's see what you're made of. Am I... I'm kind of winning. I got like Why half did of him, didn't I? Ah. This is not going to end well for you. Full of surprises, but it's not over yet. Did I get him? What, what am I looking at? Am I supposed to go through that? Uh, radiation. Take that. That takes that down. Is he gone? I'm out of healing stuff. Oh, I have first aid kits. And yeah, we'll take that. So, oh, I needed to get rid of more radiation. So, did I win? Oh, I am completely out of ammunition. Oh, no. Uh, did I win? I don't know. Where am I going? 46 meters this way. Oh, and up. So, where's the staircase? There it is, going up. Forty six meters up again. Oh, right, I have to go down the hallway to an elevator thing, right? No, where? Right, somehow I was, I went up here, right? Yeah, there we go. Now what? 16 meters up? Again up? Seriously? 12 meters up. Oh, there was another way. Ha ha ha. Fantastic. 12 meters. 40 meters down. 9 meters. What? Question mark. What? Wait a minute. When did that crop up? Behind a lockpick door. Of course it is. There's two lockpick doors. Well, that's wonder. What is that? Hmm. All right. So we need to go up one more level. But how do we get there? Oh, there we go. All right. 25 meters. If I can get in the hallway. 23 meters. Nine meters. Here we go. Clue, read. Clue! Hey, we got another one. Whoa! Saw her again in my dreams. Tuesday, Thursday the 8th, Tuesday the 13th, Monday the 12th, Tuesday the 10th, Friday the 6th, Friday the... Wow, there's a lot here. The woman in the red dress, woman in the red dress. Here in the radiation. Green, can you believe that? Oh. Quest completed, hermit. Oh, you mean I don't get to go back and get him? Oh, man. Reached a new level. Hey, I got three skill points. I can train with anybody. Um, you know what? Let's get the heck out of here. I've, I think I've had enough. Did I? I still don't know if I like beat the guy or not. Did I beat the black stalker on that level? I don't know. I don't know, but we're out of here. 
I don't care. We're out of here. And there we go. So, how is he? Wounded, but he's going to make it. Oh, that's a relief. He has access to different goods and a lot of useful contacts. Uh -huh. Looking out for your fellow man, eh, McHill? Fuck you, Mr. Righteous. Maybe this is some kind of romantic adventure for you, but some people have to make a living here. Right. All right, so... I succeeded. Olivier succeeded. We got meds. We got plating and flammables and pistol ammo. We got a little bit of rifle ammo, some shotgun ammo. I needed a lot of rifle ammo, but what I really needed was mechanicals. I'd swap those, those flammables for mechanicals any day, but that one of plate, that'll help us. All right, all right, food. It's going to use up everything we got, but you know what? Let's feed everybody. Psyche won't change. Oh, we didn't kill anybody that time. Cool. Very cool. All right, so yeah, we'll give everybody same as us. Yeah. And there we go. Cool. So what can we make? We need, oh God. We need rifle ammo, which is going to use up our mechanical parts. Oh. Yeah. Only one? We have 15? Oh, hang on. It only uses one. Well, yeah. I'll do that. Matter of fact, I'll do it again. What is that? Makarov ammo. Ah. Don't need that. That gives us like 40 rounds. I think I'll go with that for now. So we need to see about making stuff. So what can we make? Igor's inventory? No. Actually, maybe it is. Hang on. Containers, armor, weapons, crafting. What's in here? What is that? Roller bending machine, gas mask, and filters, you say? Ooh. Well, what was that? The lab. We already have that. Okay. And then microprocessor, scrap any item into resources. That could be useful. Industrial grinder produces lockpicks. Oh, ooh, that's expensive in terms of mechanicals. So what is this? Chernobylite synthesizer. Chernobylite powered tools. Well, we should find out what it's going to take to build that. Whoops, too far. Base upgrades. Building tools. Laser cutter. Chernobylite powered tools. We do not. Oh, I used it for the darn it. Well, in that case, let's come back here. It was in here, right? Industrial furnace, armor, heavy armor, ceramic plate. Oh, hang on. Oh my God, the things we can make. Ooh, stuff. Where's the one we found? Ah, I was here. That's masks and filters. And that's scrap any item doesn't take. Oh, well, you know what? We're going to make one of these, but we are going to maybe put that up here. There's no place to put it up here. All right, fine. We'll put it down here. Put our recycler, I don't know, right about there. We'll build that. Nice. And then this makes lock picks. You know what? Let's just put it right next to it. Sure, why not? And then gas mask and filters. Ooh burning through our mechanical parts here. What was the one we wanted in here? No, not in there. It was in here, right? Yeah, armor. That doesn't take mechanical parts. Oh, hell yeah. Heck yeah. You know what? We'll just put it right there. Heck yeah. Nice. Okay, so uh, what else we got going on? Nothing else we can build there. Containers. 
Don't really need those yet, because we still got space in the one over there. Didn't we make that one? Thought we made that one. Scrapper. Lock picker. Armor. We did not make that one. Oh. Do we want to? Gas mask and filters. God, we just burned through that pile of stuff that we bought to... Oh. You know what? We got to have these things. So, yeah, I guess we are. All right. What can I do with it? We get... Really? One mechanical part makes a gas filter? And I can make a gas mask without mechanical? Oh, that's handy. All right. So how about you? Armor? Heavy tactical armor doesn't require mechanical parts? Oh, oh, why did we not do that? Oh, it lowers our movement noise or it increases our noise. That's not good. Um, require ceramic plate to operate. Require ceramic part to operate? Yeah, you know what? We're going to make it. Heck yeah. Now we're out of herbs. Perfect. Oh, I forgot to look. What else can we make here? Heavy armor. We could have made heavy armor. I don't want to, given what it does. And we can make ceramic plate. Yeah. It takes ceramic plate to use the tactical armor. Why the heck not? Lock picks. Ooh. Ooh. Two mechanical parts per. Huh. Scrapping. Is there anything we have anywhere that we would like to scrap? I don't think there is. Yeah, I don't think there is. Oh my gosh, look at all those upgrades. Oh, how sweet. Anything? No, we basically just got raw components on everything, right? Well, we could maybe scrap ammo. We have that insane. It's, oh, we have four ceramic plates. Oh, wow. We have this insane amount of pistol ammo. Can we recycle that? Let's find out. I don't know. Can we? Oh, my gosh. Flammables and mechanical parts. So seven revolver ammo. If I'm reading this right, it's seven revolver ammo makes... Half a flamble and one mechanical. Well, heck yeah. Oh my gosh, yes. And three left. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Heck yeah. Okay, so maybe we didn't waste all our mechanicals after all. Oh, that is sweet. And I don't remember how much we have anywhere else, but we're going to go ahead and do this. Heck yeah. Oh my gosh, yes. Yes, yes. How much pistol ammo do we have? Oh my gosh, I'm not going to recycle all of it, obviously. Oh my God, look at all that pistol ammo. Oh my gosh. I got two left there. I got two left there, so that gives us 40 rounds. Yeah, we're recycling all of this. Heck yeah. Oh, look at that. 17 mechanical parts plus whatever's in the bin over there. Can I make the Chernobylite tool bench? We are about to find out. Uh, that was in here, right? Laser cutter. We're out of mushrooms. Oh, for Pete's sake. Oh, come on! <laughs> Out of mushrooms. Great. And we're not getting any in our bins. Oh, well. Wow, that was cool. We got so much stuff. Uh, you know, having said that, let's uh, go ahead and make another 20 rounds of rifle ammo. 20? 30? I thought I made 20. Oh, well, I'll take it. And we have 20, 40. Why do I only have 40 rounds? Does it make 10? 
Ah, apparently it only makes 10, right? Let's find out. Owned is 40. Oh, yeah, it makes 10. Okay, got it. Got it. All right. Yeah, you know what? Let's go ahead and make another round. Cool. Cool deal. Wow. Well, that was a lot of bit. You know what? We can make a couple of lock picks now. Seeing as how we have this abundance and we keep coming up with lots of, of uh, pistol ammo, we can burn pistol ammo for mechanical parts. God, I wish I'd known about this thing beforehand. Let's make a lock pick. Actually, let's make two of them. There we go. And that puts us in good shape for at some point in the future. I'm not entirely sure when. Oh, and we have points to trade. We, we have points for training. Ah, uh, who do we want to train with? Ooh, that's an interesting question. Um, well, I guess we'll go around the round the thing and find out what everybody's got. Parkour for two gives us run and jump from a height better. Patience inflicts 25% more damage with a shotgun, which we're not using. So parkour might be. Let's see what anybody else has. Actually, I can't do it. Train. You could find some time. To skip, <laughs> skip, skip. 50% more revolver inflicts more damage. Perfect stealth. Ooh, perfect stealth, huh? Perfect precision. 50% more damage with a revolver. Perfect stealth is really tempting. Maybe some other time. You're the boss, Igor. Yeah, 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 yeah. What do you got, Mikhail? Mr. Porn King over here. Hey, dude. Are you hungry, Igor? Am I hungry? Moment, thanks. Are you making something? <laughs> Just kidding. And the meat I've stashed away, I would never share it with you. Oh. This meat I wouldn't feed to my worst enemy. Or maybe only to my worst enemy. <laughs> wow. What about Mikhail? I've spent a lot of time in the zone. Too much time doing various kinds of deals. Along the way, I learned about what happened in our beloved motherland after the big fucking reactor exploded. Uh-huh. Okay, let's hear it. After your dumbass scientist caused the explosion and irradiated us in half of Europe, someone told the party apparatchiks they needed to slaughter all the livestock in the area. We're talking 50,000 sheep and cattle. Of course. Okay. It was regrettable, but a reasonable thing to do, Mikhail. Right, right. But we wouldn't be slavs if it wasn't for our fucking ingenuity and business acumen, huh? What? We always find a way. Hell, not even a hundred years of communism could uproot our inbred knack for wheeling and dealing. Anyway, some genius decided it would be a waste to just throw all that meat in an incinerator. The animals were slaughtered, all right, but not destroyed. Instead, their glow-in-the-dark meat was mixed in with the oh, flesh of healthy fun. animals. Oh, fun. And shipped to Moscow. Cool, huh? <laughs> this sounds like the exact opposite of cool, Mikhail. Oh, the wow. The just left the party officials scared shitless. Their solution was to immediately ship it somewhere else. Georgia, Ukraine, Kazakhstan. But the truth was already out. And nobody wanted this generous gift. I can't so blame them. There was this freaking ghost train rolling through Ukraine and Belarus from one station to another, filled with radioactive meat that no one dared touch. Uh -huh. This toxic meat train cruised the Soviet Empire for three years. Three fucking years! Before really? the cooling system broke down. At that point, the KGB stepped in and eventually buried the cargo. But I managed to snag a piece for myself, and I'm keeping it. it oh, dear valuable God. Valuable? How? Uh, not sure yet. It could have sentimental value. Or maybe I could use it to blackmail someone. You're insane. Wow. Please keep your radioactive meat away from our kitchen. Uh, yes, please. Perfect gathering. 30% more of every picked up resource. Survival. 10% chance of finding extra food while gathering. Ooh, capacity. I wonder what that does. Survival. 
while gathering plants and mushrooms, 10% chance of finding more food. Eh, 30% more of every resource, though. Honestly, it's a choice between him, perfect gathering, perfect... Yeah, oh, tough choice. You know what? I think we're going to go with Sasko. Let's see what his training Hello, does. Professor. Perfect parkour. No, wait a minute. It wasn't him. It was Olivier, wasn't it? Perfect stealth, right? Perfect precision and perfect stealth. Yeah, I think we're going to go this route. And we're going to spend Perfect. all three points. Let's do it. Follow me. Now I'm going to teach you how to remain invisible when there's little cover. Okay. It depends on how quick and quiet you can be. When concealed, look for the next closest cover to your goal. All right. Observe the enemy, and once you see an opening, advance quickly while staying as low as you can. I'll play the role of your opponent. All right. And... Begin. Cover to cover. And... Good job, Igor. Cool deal. The chances of survival just increased. I like perfect, sur better survival. Yeah, God knows we need that. All right, so uh, I think that is going to be enough for now. I am going to make a couple of gas mask filters, and then I'm going to... Uh, <laughs> Well, I thought we were going to end the episode, and I ran through the script for it and everything. The you know the leprechaun will get you, and you know keep your eyes open and all of that. And I came in here to go to sleep, and it said I found enough clues on the board to run a simulation of the of a past event. How do you run a simulation of a past event? Are you sure you'd rather go to sleep than find out the truth about Tatiana? Uh, no, I'm not, but now I'm confused because last time it said we found a clue with what's-his-name stuff, but there's not a new clue on the board. It still says four of seven, but the simulation is ready. So I'm guessing it's this thing somehow. No, it's not. So... Where do I run this simulation? Play the projector. Yeah, that's that. Don't care. So... Uh, now I'm confused. Where do I run this thing? Well, I'm really confused now because it says I can run a simulation, but it's not telling me how... Or... Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay. Ariadna, my life's work. Still a prototype, but it will recreate any event from the past if you feed it the right data. Okay. Glad I didn't let those Brits destroy it. It will help Brits? me find Tatiana. Okay. Just like in the myth of Tessius, Ariadna's thread will lead me to the truth. Hopefully. Oh, well, now I'm confused. I, I was supposed to have found this a long time ago then. Okay, but that's inspecting it. How do I use it? And this is the doohickey, but how do I... Run simulation! Oh, for God's sake. It's right there. All right, let's, uh, let's see what we get. Entering virtual reality will put you in a state between reality and dreaming. It will take all night to uncover the secrets of the past. Are you sure you want to end the evening? Yes? Question mark? This is going to be a long episode, folks. Sorry. But, yeah, we're doing this. Now what? 25 March 1986. This is all Chernobylite. So what am I supposed to be doing? 
I guess I follow the linear path. Tanya, and wait, is that Boris? Beautiful, isn't it? Igor gave it to me for my birthday. <laughs> He's such a cute dork. It's from Leningrad. He's so sweet. A uh -huh. tiny dancer? That's all he sees you as, huh? He doesn't really understand you like I do. If you'd only give us a chance, Tanya. Wow. I wasn't expecting that. All right, so follow the linear path going somewhere where... How do I get there? I guess, no, I don't go that way. How do I get there? How? Boris, please don't make me go through this again. Don't destroy our friendship. You don't need to worry about that. I will always be your best friend, but I can't forget that evening when we were at the Silver Lake in Gachina, and you said... We had our moment, but it's in the past now. Please, just don't. Okay. So now where am I going? I guess I'm going up here. Wow, look at all the floating... Interesting. Uh... If that's what you really want. But you're making a mistake, Tanya. Igor is too buried in his books to see the real you. He only sees the perfect little Slavic woman. Fragile, supportive, and obedient. You're not yourself around him, Tanya. Afraid of overshadowing his accomplishments. Scared of driving him away. Uh-huh. What is this memory? Because there's no way we could have experienced all these conversations. With me, you would never have to pretend. Never have to be someone you're not. I've never been more myself than when I'm with Igor. Don't try to get in my head, Boris. I've made my choice. You need to accept that. I'm really sorry if I hurt you. I regret that. Good on you, Tatiana. Let's just... let's just finish our tea. I need to be back home by five. What? I remember the music box. It was from Leningrad. But Boris? Was he making a pass at Tanya? I trusted that son of a bitch. So, now what? Guess we keep going. And going, and... We're not. Are we done? Pripyat later. I don't remember the date on the first one. What do we got going on here? Uh. I think we're all set. That was a great idea with the music box, Comrade Major. Boris was talking to the KGB? I should have seen it. He was always so overly ambitious. Yes, I'm positive. She's about to blow the lid off the whole thing. And with her affiliations, there's no telling how long it'll be before the Western press gets wind of the Duga project. Uh-huh. All right, so... So I recommend that you move fast, Comrade Major. We need to make sure that our work continues without distraction. She's a dangerous dissident and needs to be put away. As for Kiminyuk, we need him so our work can continue. He's not involved in Amalieva's machinations. He's quite naive. He's uh -huh. what Comrade Lenin would call a useful idiot. Except he also happens to be a brilliant scientist, of course. Thank you, Boris. It's good to know that you always had my back, and that you were involved in the plot to kidnap Tatiana. Indeed. How, it, how is this a memory? We can't possibly remember all these conversations we never experienced. Very odd. Very... Di uh... No, going down? Yeah, down. Okay. Uh, or not? What? What am I supposed to be doing? Oh, this way. Another one? How the heck long is this going to run? Tanya? What? 
What do you want? Tatiana Amnieva, please come with us quietly. It's better if you don't make a scene for your own sake. Well, that's not cool. Uh, now where am I going? This way. All right. What's all this about? Who, who are you? The better question is, who are you, Tatiana Femina Amnieva? Your father would be ashamed of you. Or does he know that you're plotting to betray your own motherland? Perhaps he's in on it too. Yeah, that sounds like the KGB. Where am I going? And how am I getting there? I'm going this way. What? I have no idea what you're talking about. We'll see about that. We're going to have a nice, long chat, Amalieva. As it is, we've got a mutual friend, Amalieva. Boris told us all about you. The Jilted Lover. Great. Great. So there's more. All right. Heading on down the way here. What? No, he would never. The party has done so much for you, and this is how you repay us. You've got your head filled with this Western nonsense. Yes, yes. We've seen your contraband. This garbage. It makes me sick. You're not happy being a proper Soviet woman, eh? You've grown tired of pretending? Well, the game is over. Time wow. to show your true face. You're a reactionist and a provocateur, ready to sell your country's secrets to the CIA. Yeah, it sounds like the stereotyped KGB, which wasn't exactly so stereotyped. It was pretty much the way they were. I have no idea what you're talking about. Please, let me go. <laughs> what would your fiancé Igor have to say about this, hmm? He's such a good comrade. When he hears of this, he will despise you. If you continue to resist, we'll pay a visit to your family in Murmansk. Don't make us do that. The drive always puts me in a foul mood. Please, no, don't. I'll come willingly. Good girl. Wow. Yeah. That fits the stereotype of the KGB. Where am I going now? Uh, this way, I guess? To the green light? I suppose. Which green light? Wait a minute. Is this the way I'm going? What are you doing? Get away from me. Don't touch me. Leave me alone. God, please. I can't take it anymore. Lord, have mercy. Kill me, please. Where am I going? Kill me. Wow. More? Seriously. This is real. Boris was jealous of me and Tanya. And when she turned him down, he got back at her by informing on her to the KGB. That goddamn rat. I trusted him. Good. Yeah. God. I knew she hated this system, but exposing state secrets to the Western press? Can that even be true? It could be. I don't know what to believe anymore. Yeah, I'm with you, pal. Wow, well... Oh, hey, we got another skill point back. <laughs> wow, uh, I'm assuming that's a save point. God, I hope that's a save point. It said it would take all night to do it, but yeah, I think that really is going to be enough for today. Uh, Thank you for spending your time with us. As always, it's appreciated. If you enjoyed this, let us know in the comments. Tips and suggestions are always welcome. Please try and avoid spoilers. But no matter what, always remember that if you see it and you can't quite explain it, you can be sure the leprechaun did it, even if it was in Russia. Now, you have yourselves a great day, a great week. And we will see you here next time on The Chartreuse Leprechaun. Bye-bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.